Today we'll be taking a look at the Combine Weaponry. Now these are weapons that the Combine use traditionally, but this is a pretty awesome pack that has Combine inspired weapons, and I think it works very well. There's actually quite a few weapons to take a look at here. We have a bunch of rifles, we have some shotguns, we have some plasma thingy majigs. We got a bunch of cool stuff to take a look at guys, and without further ado, we're gonna take a closer look at it all right now. But here's a quick overview at how some of these look. This is an LMG based one. We have this crazy looking thing, which I assume is a rocket launcher. And of course we even have some sidearms, like this little pistol here. And a shotgun, all based around the combine aesthetic. I can't wait to really see what these weapons can do, and exactly how good they really are. If anyone did suggest this, it'll be down below, guys. Thank you so much for suggesting. If you want to suggest a mod, please do it in the comment section down below or my Discord page in the description. First things first, we have the AR-1 M2, which is an assault rifle. But what kind of... Ooh, Jesus, that reload animation. Can we take another look at that? That was... Wow, that was quick. So you have a running animation with these as well. If you press C, nothing happens, but I figured I'd try it. It does have some iron sights. We're going to spawn Odessa and see exactly how accurate these sights are. Oh, and guys, did you guys see what happened to YouTube last night? It like, for like a whole hour or two, it was literally shut down. Literally all of YouTube. It was crazy. It was all over Twitter. But uh, let me know what you guys thought of that incident. It was pretty wicked. I was worried for a second. But uh, here we go. Odessa doesn't really stand a chance. The iron sights are pretty accurate, honestly. Um, if you press E and R, as with all types of weapons like this, you can change the firing rate, but in this case, we only have fully auto. The AR-3, yes guys, presumably the upgrade to the AR-2. I can see why. But not only that, we also have a sight there, some optics. Looks like a, looks like a reflex or maybe a holographic. Um, the reload animation looks really good. This one, no other firing rates. Oh, and also, guys, this map is based on a Halo ODST map. Pretty cool. But, uh, ooh. You know, the thing about these optics that I love is that it really gives it that extra accuracy that you're looking for. I don't know, guys. That iron sights don't do it for me. They just do not. Nothing really interesting about this weapon besides the fact that it just shoots a little bit quicker than the uh, regular AR-2. And then we have an AR-3 scoped, which is, well, I assume, the exact same thing, but with the scope. And look how cool that scope looks. So this really gives us that extra range and... I assume extra accuracy as well. We only have fully automatic, it would have been nice to have a, a semi-automatic mode on this because then we could actually make use of that very accurate scope. And whatever, screw it. We have the EBL, which is a LMG it, is, it looks like. Um, we have... Oh, that's not LMG at all. <laughs> it shoots balls. Glowing balls. But let's see what this does. Odessa, are you ready to take a ball to the face? I've been waiting to do this for a long time. Yes, it was just as awesome as I assumed it would be. So this pretty much shoots out an AR-2 energy ball. Um, it seems stronger than usual. I think it has penetration. I never want to use Odessa and penetration in the same sentence, guys. So I mean, I didn't there, but I'm just saying. Ooh, maybe I was wrong. Oh, maybe I was not. Wow, that's pretty strong. So you get a lot of enemies lined up. You could definitely do some crazy damage. But if that's damage, what about the EBL-2? Ooh. Okay, we're starting to get into the OP territory here, guys. I didn't think it would, it would really be that quick already, but... Uh, we have a semi-automatic, finally. So this pretty much turns it into the EBL-1, which, you know, who wants EBL-1? That's that stuff. We want EBL-2, baby, so let's go ham. All right, I've spawned an adequate amount of Odessas. Let's take a look exactly. Ooh. Uh, I'm out of ammo. Okay, here we go. Now we're ready. Wow. Now, I will say, though, you do only get six. So it might seem overpowered, but with that insane recoil, you might be better off staying at semi-automatic. But, you can shoot as fast as you can pull, push the trigger, so, you know, still better than the EBL one. The ESR. What is this? Hmm. Seems to be a sniper. Definitely. Also, guys, after this, we're going to start going faster here, but... Um, we're gonna be here all night if, if we don't. But, uh, you have to, it's a bolt action. You have to pull it back every single time. Um, ten times. Oh, that's the zoom. So you can adjust the zoom using that. That's pretty cool. The GL. A shotgun. Finally, we get to the shotgun. <laughs> that, that's not, that's not a shotgun at all. 
That's a grenade launcher. Why does it look like a shotgun? That's still pretty cool. We also get some optics on this. We get a reflex slash holographic slash red. I don't know, guys. Holographic. I'm calling it holographic sight. We got a holographic sight on this. Looks cool. Um, you have to reload it every time to pump it. If you're pretty quick, honestly. Okay, that's the actual reload. And then if you're pretty quick, you can reload and then, you know, quickly do it if you don't accidentally reload like I did. The PC shotgun. So finally, we get to the shotguns. This is a real shotgun, apparently. Yeah, that's definitely a shotgun. Um, we get some holographic on that, which is just the sight that's on the SMG in Half-Life 2. Um, he probably just used a bunch of elements in Half-Life 2 and spliced together some weapons, but I, I think that's a really cool, uh, creative way to make weapons in this game. All right, Odessa, let's see if you like... Oh, what are you doing? I hate when you do weird shit like that, so I'm just... Yeah, I'm just gonna kill you first. Okay, not a whole lot of blowback. But, uh, fully automatic shotgun. I'm all about that. The PD shotgun. Ooh. This one's a lot more beefy. This is a double barrel, I assume, because only has two in the chamber. Let's take a look at this. Ooh. Way more power, and I assume more spread, but obviously less in the mag. Well, it doesn't really use a mag. It's just, I don't, I don't know. It's a combine weapon. The PMG. Whoa, I can't even see this one. Oh. It's, uh... Fully automatic assault rifle. And I can't even. Okay, we only get fully automatic and safe. So let's test this baby out. Fully automatic. Oh my god. So this thing's pretty strong. Um it's more akin to like a minigun or, or even an LMG or something. Because I mean 84 in the magazine. And then 106. I mean, I think it goes to 120. The PMP, also known as the Pimp, we got uh, another holographic sight, as usual. This is just kind of your standard fare, big magazine AR. It's that nice combination between a assault rifle and an LMG. So the damage um, isn't great, but you have that big magazine to really make up for that. We don't have, man, oh, you know what? This might be an SMG, actually. It just said SMG1, so maybe I stand corrected. The pimp scope, guys, if you're gonna be a pimp, do it with a scope. So this only bolsters the fact that it might actually be an AR, because why would an SMG have a scope like this? I don't know, but it's called SMG1, don't know why, maybe it's like a placeholder name for something in Half-Life, who knows? The P-Pistol. Yes, we're finally going to the Combine Pistols here, I've never seen a Combine with a pistol like this, so this is going to be interesting. Alright, Odessa, who's go- ooh, Jesus. Not bad. Now, I mean, again, Odessa is not the strongest enemy in, G uh, you know, Gmod or Half-Life. But, uh, that's pretty solid. Try it one more time here. Also, safe. And about time too. Yeah, I'd say so. Okay, that wasn't very fair. This thing's pretty accurate. I see why they put a, a sight on it. The P-Pistol fully automatic with an awesome stock. We pretty much transformed this into a submachine gun. And it's got a decent sized mag too. Um, ooh, sadly we don't have that semi. Well, I can work with that. Okay, Odessa, what? I think mistakes were made, but uh, I'm, I'm just gonna leave him like that. All right, all right, let's see. Ooh. So it retains the damage, but you get that rate of fire. Uh, may he rest in peace. The pistol cust customizable test. Apparently you can customize your own pistol. Ah, so we can use the customizable weaponry, finally. Um, it's not letting me use it though. Also guys, just to, just to reiterate, you cannot do it on any other weapon. I've actually tried this before, and it only works on this test. So I'm guessing the guy is going to work on this in the future, but for now, it simply isn't in the mod. Pistol Heavy. So this is going to be like your revolver, your, your Desert Eagle, stuff like that. But just to make sure, let's go ahead and test 50 damage. So just to give a point of reference, those other pistols we were using did about 20 damage per bullet. So this is like, this is a lot. The P Shotgun. So this is pretty cool, guys. Um, we got Buckshot, Pump Action, Safe. Not a whole lot of firing modes on these weapons. Uh, in fact, so far, only one weapon I've seen has an alternate fire mode. But that's okay, because usually you don't even need to use it. Um, shotgun here is pretty solid. It is a pump shotgun, so you have to reload it. I actually kind of like that, that, um, that feature there. It's pretty cool. 
So this is a really good weapon pack if you guys just want to kind of explore a different type of weapon pack that you may not have checked out before and you want to stick to that, that Half-Life theme, then this is definitely your go-to pack right here. Because these are very well made so far. I mean, you get a cool sprinting animation. You get cool features like being able to pump. You get a ton of different weapons here. In fact, next up we have the PSMG. So this one is an actual real SMG here. Um, we don't get a semi, which sucks. But SMGs, you know, seldom come with a single shot anyway. Also, guys, hopefully I get over this cold quick. Because, man, it's affecting my voice hardcore. This is a really beast SMG. This is like a Call of Duty status SMG, guys. I've been playing a lot of Black Ops 4 lately, and uh, ooh, I can't stand SMGs. The PSR, which is another LMG. This one is made for range. Or wait, hold up. No, this is a sniper rifle. Okay, that explains the very large scope. This is finally a real true to life sniper. With that other one, that makes two so far in this pack. And it is deadly accurate. Look at that. Let's see if I can shoot his foot. Yes. Only 12 damage, but... <laughs> what? Okay. That that tells me a lot about Odessa. <clears throat> can we get a two for one, though? Is there some sort of bullet pen? Wait. <laughs> Did I kill the guy behind him? You guys are going to have to let me know about that. That was weird. I'll have to go over that in like editing or something. But uh, it, <laughs> it works pretty well. Next up we have the RL, which looks like a rocket launcher. This looks really cool. I'm guessing RL stands for rocket launcher. Ooh, the scope looks really cool. Yes. Wait. That's it? All right, guys. I got a bunch of Odessas lined up. Let's take a look. Holy shiza! Okay, so that that doesn't mess around. That's um, that's a pretty potent rocket launcher there. We're not done yet, guys. We have the auto gun. This is pretty exotic. All right, let's take a look. Whoa, what the hell was that? Yeah, you're pissed. Well, eat auto gun, bitch. Okay, <laughs> so. This thing's pretty cool. You can't shoot it unless you have a target. I'm pressing left click and nothing's happening. But when you do get a, a target, it kind of shoots like a Gauss cannon or something at them. And uh, I don't know exactly how much damage it does, but it kills Odessa in one shot, so that's not too shabby. Next up, we have dual SMGs, which is, again, more of an exotic option. That's why it's in a separate tab here. Um, it's called Crazy Combine Weaponry, so that's kind of cool. Pretty much goes Halo 2 style, and I love this. I really like this a lot, so... Um, you can press R trigger to throw a grenade randomly. That doesn't make any sense whatsoever, but, you know, it's in there. Obviously, you can't change the firing modes. I mean, they're SMGs. If you're dueling them, you might as well go fully automatic. <laughs> no need for accuracy. And last up, guys, go into entities here, and you can go ahead into combat weaponry. You can spawn different types of ammunition for whatever particular weapon you want to use in the pack. And some of these do look pretty cool. So, you can even get a giant freaking weapon crate and just... I don't know, weapon crate things up. And that's pretty much it, guys. So without further ado, let's go ahead and take a look at the things I liked and disliked, and I'll see you at the end of the video. Things I liked. Number one, I absolutely love the sheer amount of different weapons you get here. You get everything from assault rifles to snipers to dual SMGs to even a rocket launcher. Number two, I absolutely love the idea of combine weaponry being expanded upon. Because so far, the only real combine weapon we know of at least to my knowledge, is the AR-2, or the Pulse Rifle, and that one, you know, it just, I don't know, just just, just one gun, really? Things I disliked, um, I would have really wished to have more semi-automatic gun modes, or maybe some other different types of gun modes that could be included, because so far everything was really mostly, for the most part at least, just fully automatic, and that was just kind of lame, because it's like, why put that feature in there? But of course, maybe he's still working on it, Who's to say? All I know is, besides that point, everything else in this weapon pack is great. And that's going to be it, guys. If you like this video, please leave a like down below and subscribe to see more videos just like this. I do mod showcases on Gary's Mod, GTA 5, and maybe eventually Skyrim and Fallout 4. Those are definitely in the works. I'm also working on a second channel called Scornax, where I'll be doing top 10s, game facts on different video games, Easter eggs, glitches, all that stuff on my channel Scornax. Go ahead and check it out down in the description. 
Also check out my Facebook and Twitter and my Discord page, which is down there where you can suggest things or in my comment section down below. Thank you guys so much for watching this video. I'll see you in the next one. And until next time, my friends, farewell.